All right. All right. With us. We've started. Yep. And here we are. We started. We're here. Welcome back. And all the news is new and improved by the U.S. Army. We need a. Uh, we need a standard theme song. Oh, don't worry. I, I had that covered. You couldn't hear it. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. All right. Um, how's it going? Good. How are you? What's new with you? I got new stuff. Well, I'm glad you asked. I got new toys. Um, my lighting on my green screen is perfect. Yeah, I noticed it's that. It's better than mine. Yeah. Good. And, and you I know why? I'm gonna uh... send you. I'm gonna send you a behind the scenes thing because I'm not gonna turn my camera because it'll ruin what we've got right now. Oh. But um, you, you know could... those uh, you work could... lights that. You... Hmm? Sorry, you could make a video about your setup and throw it up on Cloud Brothers. Uh, I've done oh, that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. The other one. Oh yeah, absolutely. And clean up my apartment first a little bit. But yeah, right. yeah absolutely. That's that's up so to I you. got. So I got uh, I got some things, some light stuff for. Um, uh, the I the work like lights, like for when we used to do drywalling and stuff like that, for the taping. No, 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 no. Those kind. No, no, no. Okay. No, no. way All simpler. Right. All right. Way simpler. They're like fourteen ninety nine from Home Depot. Yep. And they're they're just like clamp on uh clamp on lights. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I bought six of them. Yep. And I have two two poles from another thing that I bought for putting a background, which I don't use anymore. Yeah. But it's per perfect for clamping on lights, too. Mm -hmm. So what I did was uh, I bought six of them, and nice. then it's going to have, like, a light bar. Uh -huh. So so I cut them all apart and wired them all together. So the left one and the right one are both on dimmer, so I can make it way too hot. Nice. Or just out. Or just perfect. But I can do it on That's each That's awesome. Side. So yeah. good. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll send you the. Um, I'll send you the. Uh, yeah, I'll do a video. Is actually thinking. Oh yeah, do it as, before you said it. Or as you said, that's a good idea. You should yeah. Yeah. Go with that. Word. Uh, how about you? Uh, I'm good. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm living the dream. That's the word. Dream. Yep, I'm living the dream. Yeah. Looking for cloud jobs. You know that kind of stuff. So yeah, I got a oh, I got a couple of rec uh, recruiters this week uh, oh. that I need to, I need to send the uh, standard thing to. Send the standard, standard letter. Super secret, <clears throat> standard super secret uh, auto reply. Yeah, well that's that's great. Yeah, one of them actually looked at mine, which was good because it's mm. like oh, I seen you only been there for six months, so that wasn't just a robot. Oh okay, that's cool. Yeah. You can tell, I don't know how you can tell, but you can kind of tell the ones where it's they, It's just they send them out to everybody. Mm. It's like, like the porn letter, your, yeah. I looked at your profile and you're awesome. It's like, no, you didn't look at my profile because the first thing it says in my profile is I don't want to be contracted by recruiters, which isn't true, but you know, yeah, it, mm. it could be. It could be. Fair enough. Uh, I think the first thing in my profile says I'm not looking. But I know somebody who is. So uh, you are in Vancouver. How's the weather out there? Oh yes, Dad called me today. Oh yeah. Said, to, said to get an said to get an emergency kit. Uh, I am in a industrial type area. Yeah. Uh, or corporate area. Mm. So the power grid is good, and I'm on high ground and in the middle of everything. So. Okay, so you're um, pretty safe out there. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's mo Vancouver is pretty much fine for now. Mm. Um, they're going to have to uh, stock up. Actually, Dad has made a good point to go out like today or tomorrow and go buy a bunch of canned stuff because uh, I believe part of the Trans Canada is just gone. Yeah, the Coquihalla Highway, the highways that I drove into a couple of times. Um, yeah. like for work and to uh, move there is yeah. the bridges are completely collapsed. They're working on restoring them. They, they expect to have them back in like 36 hours, but that's a lot of time for trucks not to be delivering uh, goods. 
you know but yeah, luckily I'm, for I'm, luckily for vancouver you get a lot of stuff by by sea so by, by boat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and from yeah, and, yeah. and from the states so oh, yeah. um, did you see my floating barge the runaway barge? yeah that was crazy yeah yeah, yeah yeah i know that i know i was hey i know that place that was yeah, bananas that, that's from the other side and i was testing out my dji om5 which i'm also gonna make mm -hmm. a video about um yeah. for the sta stabilizer yeah damage stabilizer thing it was so windy that it blew it it's like <clears throat> It's like screw Jeez. your stabilizer. Yeah, it just went to. Nope. It's like, okay, I'm glad that. Well, uh, it's not something that I wanted to test, but if it's in an extreme uh, weather scenario, it doesn't fly away. Like the magnet. Yeah, strong that's enough good. To hold, to hold it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. With my cheap phone on it, I, I'd be a little more nervous with like a brand new iPhone or a brand new S, whatever it is now. Anyway, what are we doing today, Brain? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, you're going to see this later, but I've been playing with the uh, the the sound effects. Oh, as I was talking, like a kid in a candy store. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, is it going to sound like uh, the Big Bang? Guy when Big the, Bang Theory. When, no, no, the dog. Uh, where the dog? Where the? Uh, well, what? I don't know who, who got the show first, but like Family Guy, I think it's the baby came on with the soundboard. Stewie, yeah. And it's like, Dingo and the baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> funny. Anyway, like sorry to, but I digress. Uh, Tutorials yeah. Dojo first uh, half, yeah. and then uh, second half, uh, we'll talk about uh, containers, Docker, Kubernetes, and that stuff, and Helm. Um, yeah. Again, just continue that track, uh, and just because I do want to uh, get that solutions architect exam uh, under yeah, my belt. That's a big, it's a guy. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one to have these days. Yes, yes, sir. So, um, do you, are you are you receiving the live feed, sir, of uh, on the I Discord? See I, see I see it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go under my courses and we'll probably just uh, finish up reviewing. Uh, we only have a few more questions left. Uh, we'll take all the time in the world. Well, you know, less than half an hour to finish them. Um, ho hopefully it'll still work. We are looking at, I was on section based earlier today. Um, so we want to go back to review mode because for some reason the sessions are sticky, which is nice. Um, review mode set one was where we were. Correct. So, um, yeah, see, resume quiz. It's, it's, so far, it's been really, really reliable. Hey, what's all that? I'm, uh, I noticed the black bar. Oh, no. See the black, you see the black bar at the top? Uh, yeah, but, uh, I don't think it's been picked up. Oh, yeah, that's weird. I wonder why that's happening. That's on my end. That's very weird. It's a crop. Make it drop. Uh, that's a whap. Oh, that's so bizarre. It's not in the camera one unless. Oops. 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 Whoop, whoop. Oh, there you go. Okay, now it's gone. Yeah, it, All right. Okay. Uh, trying to move my, trying to move my camera around to get rid of yeah, it. Yeah. It was never gonna. It was never gonna work. It, it would have never worked. Okay, so well. Okay, uh, this is right, re so I, review okay. mode. So we're in the, because uh, they very kindly put design secure applications and architectures mm -hmm. uh, as a subject. So that's where your brain should be. Uh, solutions Architect identified a series of DDoS attacks. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I need to have this open. Um, so a... Uh, Associates Architect identified a series of DDoS attacks while monitoring the VPC. The architect needs to fortify the uh, current cloud infrastructure to protect the data of the clients. Which of the following is the most so, uh, suitable solution to mitigate these kind of attacks? WAF to filter, monitor, and block HTTP traffic uh, using the uh, I, I like how I said HTTP like it was one word. Uh, 
uh, using the AWS Firewall Manager to set up a security layer that will prevent SIN floods, UDP reflection attacks, and other DDoS attacks. Use Shield Advanced to detect and mitigate DDoS attacks. A combination of security groups and knuckles to only allow authorized traffic to access your VPC. I think it's this one. I think we found this before. And I think that's yeah. I, I think that's that's purpose, the purpose of that service. That's, that is the purpose of that service. And we did have it before. And the difference, so you could also do the same thing, uh, set up web application, firewall, laugh filter, monitoring, blah, blah, blah. But no human could do that. Okay. Right? You yeah. No human can keep up with it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> so... Let's see. Boom. Got it. Yeah. Um, what was it you were saying? A human could do that. It's incorrect. No, that's not what you're talking about. It's incorrect. Even no. though WAF can help you block common attacks, uh, all this, it's still not enough to withstand DDoS attacks. That's yeah. all. And that, that's ba basically because of what you said. Uh, yeah, no, no human can do it. Yeah. I don't need to watch that video. I've watched most of the videos now because they repeat within because uh, of uh, my thing I did last night. Um, mm -hmm. The videos uh, apply to several different questions, and yep. they like these. They've like they've done great because they've packed a lot of information into just five minute videos. It's really weird because they're they do they've is done it, such a good is job. It, is it um, John is Bonzo? It always, is it always John Bonzo? Yeah. Oh, well, I presume it's John Bonzo because I, I think I've heard his voice before, but it I think it is. Just the way he just hired uh he just hired a dev to oh, work on his thing, so he's doing good. Anyway. IBM's hiring a uh a uh what do you call it? A entry level cloud consultant in Toronto. Oh oh yeah. P apply for that. Yeah, there's but like it came out like six hours ago and there are twelve applicants by the time I got it. I changed my uh, LinkedIn settings to, to show me uh, show me cloud jobs, um, and oh, not yeah. no AV jobs. But oh, and funny yeah, yeah. enough, one connection one connection I have uh, works at another place that's hiring someone uh, that's mm -hmm. uh, for product support. It's a similar job to what I have now um, for mm -hmm. Cisco. G guess who the other person is? You. Oh yeah, I can figure it out. You I figured it out. Um, so let's uh, get back to reality. Uh, multi tiered application. We're designing resilient architectures this time, by the way. A uh, multi tiered application hosted in your on premises data center is scheduled to be migrated to AWS. The application has a message broker service which uses industry standard messaging APIs and protocols that must be migrated as well. Without rewriting the messaging code in your application, which of the following is the most suitable service that you should use to move your messaging service to AWS? Oh, stupid brain. This is, yeah, this was one of the first things that I did at uh, Trendimba, so I remember a lot of this. Mm-hmm. And um, so, message broker. You don't. You probably haven't used message brokers a lot because I had no. I haven't. I've, 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 I've obviously heard I, of it, yeah. but I haven't used it. So uh, SQS query service. And, yeah, and MQ are similar things. Yeah, but in order to get your thing into SQS you would have to rewrite your code. So mm, yeah, that makes without, sense. So without rewriting your code, I believe they have, I believe, pretty sure actually, that Amazon MQ is exactly for that use case. Okay, so, and then as SNS doesn't make sense because it's a simple notification service. So yeah, it, it just it just wouldn't do it. What's, mm -hmm. uh? My brain's going because I play too much DVD, like Dead by Daylight. It's saying survive yeah. with friends. What's SWF? I don't remember. AWS? I don't it's, either. Uh, like, uh, obviously, it'll say in the, in the. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's uh, we'll get ready to go here. 
let's check. Yeah! Boom! Yeah. The only question I have Bullseye. is... Bullseye. I, I don't remember what SWF is. Okay, yeah. so and, and, uh, Amazon and, MQ and, managed message broker service for Apache. Yeah. Okay. So let's... Um, uh, a fully managed state tracker. Right. Amazon SWF is incorrect because this is a fully managed state tracker and task coordinator service and not a messaging service, unlike Amazon MQ, SQS, and Amazon SNS. SNS is incorrect because SNS is more suitable as a pub-sub messaging service instead of a message broker service. Amazon SQS is incorrect because this is a fully managed message queuing service. Oh, sorry. I, I, yeah, I didn't say it exactly right. It does not support an extensive list of an industry uh, standard messaging APIs, unlike Amazon MQ. However, SQS requires you to do additional changes. So changing the code is exactly what you said. Yeah. Okay. So um, just let me, is AWSSWF. Simple workflow. Simple workflow. It's a web service that makes it easy to coordinate work across distributed app components. Also provides flow framework to help developers use asynchronous programming in the development of their apps. Okay, there you go. Simple workflow. Thank you. Thank you, Internet. Um, okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just want to check something. See, what I never did, what you did, which I'm starting to do now is reading the category. Yeah. So high, high performing architectures. And I never really knew the weights to anything. When I ask you, what's the weight to the security one? I yeah. still don't know what the weights are. It, it anything, says it. But... Uh, you, Demi, tells you, you can look it up. It's it's avail freely yeah, available yeah. information. Yeah, it's in the prep guide. It's in the prep PDF. Yep. Um, yeah. So the, so designing so oh, well, and it helps because um, like when I'm doing section based, like I did the cost, and you're yeah. so obviously you, you, what you're thinking about is the cost, like whether money's no object or whether money is has to be really considered. Um, yeah. Then it'll affect your decision on what you think the answer is. Um, the company that you under designing high performing architectures, the company that you are working for has a high, highly available architecture consisting of an elastic load balancer and several EC2 instances configured with auto scaling in three availability zones. You want to monitor your EC2 instances based on a particular metric, which is not readily available in CloudWatch. Which of the following custom network metric in CloudWatch? which you have to manually, this is weird. Okay, I gotta say this again, start over. Which of the following is a custom metric in CloudWatch, which you have to manually set up? Yeah, I, I know this one in, I, uh, I know this one intimately. So like I, I've, lived in, I've lived in CloudWatch as part of my job, so I know this one. Okay. And that's not correct. Oh. Okay. So uh so let me let me read it again. Uh yeah. design let me think about it. Design high performing architectures. The company that you're working for has a highly available architecture consisting of an elastic load ba load balancer and several these two instances configured with auto scaling in three zones. You want to monitor your instances based on a particular metric which is not readily available in CloudWatch. Is it this? No. Oh. Um, there's a sentence that you almost have to memorize for this. And if you memorize the sentence, you'll get these answers correct each time. So there's standard metrics and there's custom metrics. Mm -hmm. Memory and disk usage are not standard metrics. They are custom metrics. So if you just remember that, that's like just write that down, and say it five times. Yeah. Repeat it back to me. Yeah. Repeat it back to me. Yeah. Me you said memory and disk usage are not are. Uh... 
I said there's a whole more there's more to it. So there's are, two types of there's two types they are of custom metrics. metrics. They are custom there's, metrics. There's, there's standard metrics and standard metrics. metrics. So they're not standard metrics. That's what I was trying to remember. Okay. Correct. So, so me usage, memory and disk usage memory are not standard are not, metrics. Gotcha. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah. Okay. If you remember if you remember that you'll get every one of these right. Mm -hmm. And it's memory utilization. So what's how is disk reads not disk usage? Oh, because it's a read. I got it. Never mind. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. CPU CPU utilization, mm -hmm. network traffic, disk reads, those are all standard metrics. Okay. Memory utilization is not. Okay, got you. So yeah. uh you don't need to remember much more than that. Yeah, I, I just want to read it anyway, so I have a, yeah. a strong understanding. I'm not going yeah, to read too. it out loud, though. Um, so there's the, oh, wait, wait, go up. There's the ones that are... So that's uh, this is what you just said, right? And obviously, it, it was your, in yeah. your wheelhouse. So all the things that you said, network packets, disk reads, activity, CPU utilization are all incorrect because they're av readily available on CloudWatch by default. These wow. are custom so memory correct disk swap disk space page file and log yeah. collection yeah so if you think about it if you think about it as a virtualization thing which is the rabbit hole i've been going down lately uh, yep the uh there's the server operating system and there's the guest operating system and the mm. server operating system in the virtualization can tell you what your CPU usage is, what your network usage is, da 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 da, da. But it can't tell you what's on the machine. Yeah. That, that's the paging file, the memory, disk usage. Mm. Well, like, yeah. Anyway. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Where are we at? Anyway? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Right. Whoa! A solutions architect designed a serverless architecture that allows AWS Lambda to access an Amazon DynamoDB table named Tutorials Dojo in the U.S. East North Virginia region. Uh, the IAM policy attached to a Lambda function allows it to put and delete items in the table. The policy must be updated to only allow two operations in the Tutorials Dojo table and prevent other DynamoDB tables from being modified which of the following IAM policies fulfill this requirement and follow the principles of granting the least privilege mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Well. No. No. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. That doesn't look right. Okay, so ID allow Dynamo DB to put or delete item. There's your resource, which is US East one. Yeah, the table named Tutorials Dojo mm -hmm. uh, is an important part of that. It has to have two operations in the in the table to prevent other DynamoDB tables from being modified. Yeah, so that's a deny then. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So I in fact allow put item delete item. So there's deny. Effect is deny. Deny kind of D and uh that's all tables. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So this you, one. You only want it on that specific table. So this is allow DynamoDB 
on this table. Yeah. And the table is Tutorials Dojo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a, and it's looking. Oh, here's one, though. And this is allow yeah. put item. Um, I'll be honest with you, the policies are a pain in the ass, so I usually just guess and read the question. Uh, that's okay. I'm, uh, I'm trying to figure it out though. Uh, statements at ID, uh, table policy effect is allow your actions are put item and delete item. Your resource yeah. is this U S East one the thing I'm getting confused about though, is when you go up here. It's saying Lambda to access and oh, I see. I see. Okay, I got it. Never mind. So, uh, so it's, so you're allowing. So what it's saying there is you're allowing uh, only two things. Does it say what things, or it just says only? No, two it things? just says you're allowing. The policy must be updated to only allow two operations and prevent other Dynamo D T DB tables from being modified. So this one says allow put item, delete item to tutorials dojo and yeah. uh, deny uh, Dynamo DB to any table. I think yeah. it's this one. I think you're correct. Green, but it's not green on the button. It's weird. For the button, oh, I'm pretty excited about that green. one. Yeah. Yeah, those are not yet. That's a. Uh, you should be excited about that one. Oh no, I got it's I got wrong. <laughs> I didn't get it. Oh. I got wrong. <laughs> I take it all back. Okay, what was it then? Because these it, are it was the, it was the green one. That's the thing about it. It was like it's the one that turned green. There's no button yeah. push. So it was the fourth one. The last one. Yeah. The correct scenario is this. It is stated the scenarios will be used to modify the table tutorials dojo. Since you only need to access one table, you'll need to indicate the table in the resource element. Also, you must specify the effect and action that will generate in the policy. Hence, the correct answer in the scenario is. So it was the simplest one. Allow action. Put delete there, on the table. So there's so there's no deny. No, we overcomplicated that. We overengineered that. Okay, so the one that I picked, which which had the deny on it, the IM policy below is incorrect. Just like the previous option, the first statement of this policy is correctly allowing put and delete actions in the Dynamo DB table. However, the second statement counteracts the first one as oh. it denies all D Dynamo. That's a good point. Fair enough. I didn't see that. That's why policies are a pain in the butt. Yeah, no, that's, you it can makes sense. Shoot yourself in the foot. It makes sense. So, it, like, if you know, obviously, if that was my job, I'd get better at it. But yeah, there's a policy simulator as well. But anyway, let's get these. Let's get. Oh yeah, that's we, true. Uh, we can go through. Okay. We can get this all. You want to finish it? Yeah, let's so finish close. this one today. Uh, retail website has intermittent, sporadic, and unpredictable transactional workloads throughout the day that are hard to predict. The website is currently hosted on-premises and is slated to be migrated to AWS. A new relational database is needed that auto-scales capacity to meet the needs of the application's peak load and scales back down when the surge of activity is over. Which of the following option is the most cost-effective and suitable database set up in this scenario? Doesn't say anything about big data, right? So Redshift is uh, or or wait, transactional. So that's like a web uh, e-commerce kind of thing. Yeah. So not that's not big data, I don't think. Yeah. So I think Redshift is out. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's a data warehouse. Um, and does it say anything relational database? It does say so, that. 
a new relational so, database is needed. Yeah, so a relational database eliminates number three. It eliminates DynamoDB because, you know, oh. that's no. not. Uh, so. And then I, so it's between the top two. Uh, and I don't know. DB cluster set the minimum and maximum for the cluster. Provision DB cluster with burstable performance. DB you want you wanted to auto scale uh, to the capacity to meet the needs of the application's peak load and scale back down when the surge of activity is over. So I yeah. don't I don't think the first one setting a minimum and maximum capacity would scale it down. I don't think it would auto scale it down. I don't know much about uh, Aurora honestly, but I think based on what says burstable performance yeah see I, I think that's a distractor but i also think that i might be wrong about that so who knows it was me i'd pick number one okay well let's go with you let's go let's go with you uh you for uh, this one here and uh we'll see okay laugh you got your board ready you got your board Ooh, yeah laser focus yeah and what's the uh, provision <laughs> DB? Error, error, error. What? Oh, sorry. Huh? Um, uh, Amazon Aurora serverless is an on-demand auto-scaling configuration oh. for Amazon Aurora. No, not that one. I want to read the wrong. I want to hey. read the ones that are wrong. Hey, no, I want to read the one that's right because I never. Okay. I don't know about this. An Aurora okay. serverless DB cluster. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I don't I don't need to read the whole thing, but let, let's look yeah, at this. Yeah, you can read that later. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. They 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 got a really they've got really good at making these things. Uh, the one with the burstable is incorrect because Aurora Provision DB cluster is not suitable for intermittent, sporadic, and unpredictable transactional workloads. The model works well when the database workload is predictable because you can adjust capacity manually based. So it's the opposite of what I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The two things are switched. So that's that's cool. Um, yeah. Weber, uh, a company has a web application that uses the internet information services for Windows Server. A file share is used to store the application's data network attached storage of the company's um, on-premises data center to achieve a highly available system. Um, they plan to migrate the application file share to AWS. Uh, which of the following can be used to fulfill this equipment. Oh, wait. On premises. Hmm. Yeah, that's not EBS. Uh, that's not EFS. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, Network attached. I think, you got it. I, think you, I think you have it right. Okay, well, let's check. No. That's weird. Oh, no, no. I, so you clicked the wrong. You clicked. The, I know. That's weird. I, I clicked this. And maybe yeah. it, I, you know what? I probably, I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, I, I, I still would have had it wrong. Yeah, yeah. But it is FSX. That surprises me because um it because it says it's on premises. But the thing that uh I was starting to second guess myself is that it's not just on premises, it's it's also network attached. And using a Windows serve I internet information services for Windows Server. It's probably some special Yeah, yeah. FSX thing. Uh for Windows File Server oh. provides Yeah, because this is the thing like the Windows Server. Mm -hmm. and, like, but you think that's a false false flag? Um, that's kind of what I thought anyway. Uh, provides managed Microsoft Windows file servers. Blah blah blah. It's terrible. You know, it's terrible. No. When I hear Windows, my brain turns off because we don't use it at all for anything. Very not, very not used very much. Yeah, fair. Occasionally, you'll have to deal with it with with a customer, but. Yeah. As soon as yeah, as soon as I hear Windows in it's like ah, I don't have to deal with that. Oh, okay. 
Well, it kind of makes sense, though. It's in, uh, Gateway's incorrect because the storage gateway is primarily used to integrate your on-premises network to AWS, but not for migrating your applications. Yeah. It makes sense. Using a file share and storage yeah. gateway implies that you will still keep using your on-premises system and not entirely like, migrate it. Yeah, it's like a bridge-ish kind of thing. Oh, they plan to to achieve a highly available system. They plan to migrate the application and file. Do a full migration. You need to be specific, John Bonzo. But the test won't be either. A company design resilient architectures. A company plans to migrate its on-premises uh, workload to AWS. The current architecture is composed of a Microsoft SharePoint server that uses a window shared file storage. The solutions architect needs to use a cloud storage solution that is highly available and can be integrated with Active Directory uh, for access control and authentication. Which of the following options can be can satisfy the given requirement? Yeah, but that's yeah. just because I'm nervous now. Yeah, yeah. Because I see, like, Microsoft and Windows and uh, Server and all in that question. Uh, a yeah. company plans so, to migrate its on-premises workload to AWS the current. So everything to AWS are migrating. Yeah, yeah. Microsoft SharePoint Server that uses a Windows shared file storage. You need yeah. to use cloud storage solution that is highly available and can be integrated with Active Directory for access, control, and authentication. Yeah, somehow I think that's right. I would, I, it's either the first one or the third one. It's not the second one or the fourth one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nervous, nervous about being a false, false. No, it's good. And it probably, what did it say? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, I can uh, go back. Yeah. I can go look at it. Oops. I go like what, this. What did it say about the, um, the, the SharePoint? Word. The SharePoint. SharePoint. I just want to know if Share, SharePoint had anything to do with it. Because it said you... SharePoint file server. Oh. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, it's not really mentioned. That doesn't say, it doesn't say anything about the specific nope. use case. Okay, so uh, let's pop forward one. Let's go forward. Yeah. I uh, always miss that one. I always miss that one, by the way. Miss what? The Windows FXX thing. Mm -hmm. FXX, whatever there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, okay. Design secure applications and architectures question. A tech company that you're working for has undertaken a TCO analysis evaluating the use of Amazon S3 versus acquiring more storage hardware. The result was that all 1,200 employees would be granted access to Amazon S3 for storage of their personal documents. Which of the following will you need to consider so you can set up a solution that incorporates a single sign-on feature from your corporate ADL DAP directory and also restricts access for each individual user to a uh, designated user folder in an S3 bucket? Yeah, thanks. That's right. Damn it. Uh, no, it was oh, I. I had this. The third part. I had this the other day, but I jumped. I didn't even read it because yeah. it, it makes sense. It's it's the thing is, it's twelve hundred people, mm -hmm. right? So you want people to have access to put stuff into S3 buckets and stuff like that, which will require them to have bucket policies assigned to them, which you're not going to be able to do a single sign on. So you need to, yeah, yeah. You need to uh, do a, an IAM role. And had I read all the answers, and, and here's yeah. the thing, <laughs> when I had this answer last time and I got it right, I clicked this one and this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they obviously moved them around so you don't yeah, they do that. So you don't goof it up like I just did. Yeah, they do that on purpose. Error. Oops. Error, 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 death. 
An application hosted in EC2 consumes messages from an SQS queue and is integrated with NSNS to send out an email to you. Once the process is complete, the operations team received five orders. But after a few hours, they saw 20 email notifications in their inbox. Which of the following could be the possible culprit um, for the issue? Uh, da, 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 the the third one. It's reprocessing images or reprocessing messages. It's sending the messages so it has permission. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. Is it twice? It's not twice. Well, it's uh, they've had they've had five orders, so it's four times. So because uh, five times four is twenty. Oh, right. so maybe it is. Maybe it is the first one. I guess this one. But if they are being sent twice, right? Um, it would be five orders that are being sent twice. It would be ten messages. Yeah, that, yeah. So yeah, about twenty. Uh, um, and then the web application does not have permission to consume messages in the queue. Um, no, that's the web application is shut to short polling, so some messages are not being picked up. That doesn't make sense either. I think you're right. We, we worked that one out. Yep. All right. Um, last question. A pharmaceutical company has resources hosted on both their on-premises network and an AWS cloud. They want all their software architects to access uh, resources on both environments using their on-premises credentials, which is stored in Active Directory. In this scenario, which of the following can be used to fulfill this requirement? Oh, on-premise yeah. credentials? Mm. Wait. It's on-premises credentials? That's uh, it's the first one. Yeah, uh, because well, Web Identity Federation would be like Facebook and Google and all that. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah. And uh, far, a pharmaceutical company, That'd be they AD. want all their software AD architects AD. to uh, use some variants, which are, which are uh, yeah, and it's right there, active. Right, let's check it. Let's check it. Put it in the mail. Boo, boo, boo! Woo, 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 woo! All right, I think we went over time for uh how long it's supposed to take us to take the test because you're only supposed to do 60 minutes but i think it took us about a month month and a half <laughs> yeah okay let's finish the quiz let's see what happened but i have no earthly idea oh, oh man well it's not bad though it's whoa bad. but look at design cost optimized architectures yeah we, we're cheap Fix this in, man. Um, it's funny though, because that's I'm the one that's all cost. It's like, oh, it's AWS. It's like, uh, it's like, yeah, but it still costs money and you can still save money. Uh, you got 81% in the design resilient architecture, which is good. So you get the HA and uh, resiliency stuff, which is good. Uh, yep. Pretty good on the security, too. That's okay. Oh, actually, that's that was a, that was lowest. I was fifty seven percent, but I got uh, almost eighty percent on the on the uh, review last night. Yeah. Um so. so you don't have to. So I think you can do better now because we've been doing this for months. But, well, that that um, the re like because we've doing the review mode and going through it so slowly. Uh, generally, <laughs> um, that's why I got eighty percent on the one yesterday. Um, so uh -huh. that's cool. Uh, so do you want to talk about the other thing? Uh, for a few yeah. minutes. Uh, yeah, ten minutes. Already. Minutes, yeah. So, do you have um, anything prepared, or? I don't have anything prepared. It's just kind of a chat. And now that the uh, excitement has worn off a little bit, um, I'm going to give you what I think are the steps, uh, which mm. I think you've got a little bit already. Uh, so Helm is like the top of the mountain. Yeah. Right. 
and then uh, so you start with like Docker, which is what you're doing. Um, start with Docker, uh, and then Docker Desktop and the Kubernetes. I didn't know that Kubernetes was built into that thing. It's very cool. Mm. Um, one of the things that you may or may not need to know about, depending on how things go, uh, is a thing called Docker Swarm. Yep. Which is the similar, I think it's a similar thing to what Kubernetes does. Yep. Um, but Kubernetes, um, I think Kubernetes Docker is the place to start, like spend all your time on that and maybe what we can do now, just look at uh, Kubernetes certification. Mm. Well, that's a good idea, actually. Uh, huh. All right, let's go. See how much it costs, see how long it takes. Let's do some research on like what a real Kubernetes course costs as well. It's free. Everything's free, so you gotta pay. Then they make make you pay. Certified Kubernetes administrator. Okay. Three hundred and seventy-five bucks. Where do you so see that? So not a cheap point. Right there, three hundred and seventy-five bucks online exam. It's right underneath your face. Oh, right there, I see it. Okay, there's lots of words in front of me. <laughs> Uh okay. <clears throat> yeah, I look for the buttons. And then uh three hundred and seventy five bucks. But it's not cheap. An uphill climb. Not cheap. Yeah, but no, it's fine. Uh one of the highest uh, velocity open source projects Kubernetes uses exploding, obviously. CNCF is yeah. committed to growing the community certification is uh train for exam. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah see what they got there. So there'll be all kinds of, uh, that's not terrible. Uh, it's, it's five. So, oh, if you want to do the course and the exam, you can buy it. You can bundle it. Yeah. Well, Christmas so is it's coming. like you save a hundred bucks. Something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think you're ready. For, well, maybe, I don't know. Well, I'll, I'm, a, I'm well on my way to solutions architect. This will be my next thing. Yeah, yeah, let's get one at a time here. Okay? Yeah, like I, uh, well, I can, I can certainly you, on uh, off. Uh, oh, you know okay. what? That lady, that lady that we saw last week probably mm. has something on YouTube. Oh yeah, Super. imagine, imagine Free Code Camp uh, has do, do, uh, like I'm, I'm not going to play anything, but I'll look at it here. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Wrap stuff they, up. We don't need to watch. Uh, free, uh, Free Code Camp Uber. Netties, because I went through that guy's four-hour course on Python, right? Yeah. She's got it here, no. a full course in, in four hours. Yeah. Go from zero put to in, hero. Put in certification at the end. Hello of and oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, she's good. Look, she's got two million four hundred and forty-six thousand views, approximately, on there. Uh, yeah, certification. She's very. I like that lady. Uh, it's because you're doing the you gotta take the free code camp out. Oh, um, or here's another guy 13 hours, 10 minutes. Oh, that's that's hash that's terraform. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, Kubernetes certification overview, yeah. So, I think that and then watch uh, what's this one, how long is this one? Uh, it's uh, 10 minutes. Hold on a sec. Yeah. Do you want to listen to it? Let's see how yeah, it goes sure. your reaction. I just got to... I, uh... I know nothing about it. Okay, hold on. It's got to... I got to change something. So you can hear it. Um... <laughs> Watch this and then we'll call it. Yep, that sounds good. Uh, okay, let's make sure that's still working. Yeah, everything looks good. Cinema mode. Hello, friends. Welcome Hello. back to another video on Can't Kubernetes. Many people oh, yeah, need to watch it on the different yeah. on yeah. Kubernetes yeah. certification. Okay, go ahead, try again. 
So in this video, yeah, I will try to give more information on Kubernetes certifications. So watch the video till the end. Okay. Kubernetes is one of the okay. open source projects that is booming like anything in the current market because Brilliant. it is one of the most popular container orchestration tools. This video is purely for the beginners will give uh, some clarity on the Kubernetes certifications. So those who are planning to take the certification on Kubernetes will be able to understand what types of certification they have and what is the course syllabus or curriculum and the eligibility, course pieces and how to prepare for the certifications, who can pass this exam and how to register for the certifications. So I will be covering these topics I, in this video. I, I, I so changed, this I changed, totally changed my mind. Some clarity on the Kubernetes. You, you need some uh, closed captions? No, no, I hear it. I hear it. It's just I don't think that there's any value. We can oh, find okay. this stuff out. We can find this stuff out later. But you can just like go through and um, it's just showing. Oh you, yeah, I'll just scroll. Yeah, I'll just scroll through. Just showing you Perfect. tutorials and stuff, the types of certifications. Oh, there, 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 yeah. So I've seen the uh, CKAD before. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never. I've seen. I didn't know what these were actually. Yeah, so there's C CK uh, application developer, but at this is beginner level. This is this is yeah. a CCP like AWS Cloud Certified yeah, yeah, Cloud yeah, Practitioner. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, like yeah. I yeah, yeah. know enough about you know my uh, my state in it. Oh yeah, and then it gives you the weights here. Uh, yeah, CKA, yeah. twelve percent security, seven percent. It's, it's yeah, probably yeah, a pretty good thing. overview. You know. It is. It's just I just don't have the patience. It's been a long day. And yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, the kids have been getting up at, uh, Archer keeps getting up at four going, is it time to get up? Like a walk in a room. Oh, oh Jesus. It's because of the time change. Because before, oh, yeah. cause he's, yeah, all, yeah. He's, all, get... he's all mixed up. He he's just not, doesn't know see, what time it is. See, <sighs> yeah, I'm in the same state. Yeah. Like I went to bed at eight o'clock the other night. Mm -hmm. Just because it was like eleven o'clock, it felt like, and then your timing is all off. I think it's like one o'clock in the morning. You think it's eight, but mm -hmm. it's only one o'clock. Yeah, yeah. It Stupid. is. It Stupid. is bananas. Um, and bananas. Uh, I, so, it, so for plan for next time, mm -hmm. um, the same thing. I think same. Thing, but I'll try to have something a little more planned out, like going over a Docker beginner tutorial, just um, so you understand what containers do. Well, yeah, I've been, I've been doing the Docker, like I, I'd like to do that with you as well, but I, I've been doing yeah. the Docker tutorial and uh, stuff like that. Um, I want to, I want to oh. uh, write, like, like I want to write stuff down like that, uh, subjects I'd like to cover, and then you can have some time to prepare for it, and, and so will I. Yeah, that's all. That's all I got. So, uh, there's another one. Uh, Docker Compose is another one. Like Docker Compose is like a light version of Kubernetes, where Docker Compose is uh, you give it a configuration mm -hmm. and you, a YAML file, mm -hmm. and it just builds your container for you, so you don't have to do all the stuff. Nice. Um, maybe we'll go over Docker Compose next week. There's my yeah. plan. Well, yeah, Docker that that next. that'd be good. Or we can go through the uh, the Docker per Windows tutorial, uh, which is the to do list, because I've done most of it, and uh, there oh, okay. I, I have a I have a block. There's a there's a blocker. What you call them the stand ups in IT? A block. A yeah. block. I I have one. I've come yeah. to a point where I'm not understanding an instruction. Because it's just not okay. it's just not laid out, and I can't I can't remember what it is at the moment. It's yeah, uh, well, we'll work on that next week. It's just something that is you're supposed to know in the subjects, and and I'm for some reason I can't I can't yeah. get it. Like it's, oh, it's it's pretty much like uh, I'm doing it I'm doing it all through the uh, either command line or PowerShell, and mm -hmm. uh, it's I got the to do list working. I'm at the point where I'm trying to make uh, the session sticky. So oh, then, the Node.js, the Node.js. Yeah, I believe I think I, uh, I believe that's yeah. the point I'm at. And it, there's yeah. just there's just one simple thing, and I'm uh, like I've either missed a step, or there's a step that everybody in the world knows but me. Yeah. Um, and it's so, or a combination of both. 
but well i don't know what that step is but i'm sure i can figure it out no i know I like once we if we're both looking at it and go oh i see what it is because we were doing that with the python code before and uh all that yeah, so yeah. i know that we have the ability yeah no that's a good plan um word i've never gone through that fully or started to go through it and then got distracted by something else because that happened yes sir okay so we'll uh we'll do something though right. i'll uh i'll let you know where i'm at with that if i figure it out midweek or whatever or on the weekend i uh i'll, I'll just let you know and i'll show i'll show you my to-do list oh yes and Whoa. uh appreciate our efforts well, in the gosh sorry all right please, we'll do the please like and subscribe please hit the like, button. like and subscribe hit the Hit the, hit the button, bell button, because you'll know when we're bringing the heat. We are going to bring the heat, and we need to start saying that throughout the stream and at the beginning of the at the beginning of the video as well. Yeah. There's a guy, uh, yeah. There's a guy uh, I watch who, um, twenty five percent of his video is that. Mm. Like the, the first five minutes of his video is going through his joke spiel about getting subscribers and stuff but yeah. yes you're correct we'll get better at this yes sir all right first we're uh, gonna get rid of kubernetes yeah or both we can do all it all at the same time we it, we don't it it doesn't have to be a uh it doesn't have to be a binary choice all right yes thanks for watching cloud yes, brothers yes. come on brothers yeah. come on brothers no they they found me